here ELCB or earth leakage circuit breaker is a protection device which is used to protect against earth leakage why earth leakage happens earth leakage happens because of the insulation failures here this is the equivalent circuit of an ELCB that is when earth leakage happens this ELCB isolate the system from the main supply this phase and neutral is nothing but the main supply here there is a switch which is controlled by the ELCB if this is open circuited the supply is isolated from this load or system when it is closed to circuit the supply is connected to the electrical system or load okay when earth leakage happens this ELCB activates an open circuit this terminals or this switch and isolates supply from this load this is how the ELCB works now we are going to look what an ELCB consists of an ELCB consists of mainly two part one is the magnetic core and other is the coil here three coils exist in this ELCB coil 1 coil 2 and this trip coil ok now we are going to look how this ELCB works first condition we are going to consider is normal condition that is there exists no leakage current when there is no leakage current this phase current flows through this it won't flow through this branch because this test switch is initially open circuited so this phase current flows through this coil 1 and then it flows through this load then coil 2 and then it reaches the neutral since coil 1 load and coil 2 are in series what happens this I phase and I n are equal that is phase current I phase and neutral current are equal now when a current passes through a coil an MMF is produced in that coil ok so due to current through this coil 1 an MMF is produced in this direction let us say in this direction an MMF is produced due to current through this coil 2 an MMF also produced let us say this MMF is this direction and the number of turns in coil 1 and coil 2 are same so what happens the MMF produced by coil 1 and coil 2 are same since I phase and I n are equal so what happens the net MMF in this core will be 0 since MMF here is in clockwise here is in anti-clockwise so net MMF in this core is 0 so what happens the EMF induced in this trip coil is 0 so what happens this trip coil is not activated not activated means this condition remains that is this remains closed the circuit in cl this remains closed circuit ok these coils are wound such a way that their MMF are in opposite directions such a way that their winding is wound on this magnetic core now we are going to look what happens when a leakage current occur ok here let us say a leakage current of I occur here then what happens I phase is the entering current to the load now leakage current I happens here so net current coming into the coil 2 is nothing but I phase minus I this current passes through coil 2 and reaches N here due to insulation failure a leakage current I occurs now what is the function of ELCB ELCB have to uh, isolate the supply from this load that is the function of ELCB for that here current through coil 1 is nothing but I phase current through coil 2 is nothing but I phase minus I so current in coil 1 and coil 2 are not same so what happens the MMF produced by coil 1 and MMF produced by coil 2 are different so 
there exist a net magnetic m motive force or mmf in this core magnetic core due to that mmf an emf is induced in this trip coil and thus through some mechanism these switches are open circuited by the trip coil so here what happens when leakage current happens current is unbalanced that is coil current in coil 1 and coil 2 are different so mmf produced by coil 1 coil 2 are different so what happens net mmf in this core happens so trip coil is activated and open circuited or isolated the supply from the load this is how an elcb work we are going to look what is the function of this test switch as the name suggests test switch is used for testing whether the elcb is in working condition or not okay what happens when we press this test switch when we press test switch this will be short circuited okay then under normal conditions this will be short circuited so phase current entering here and it is split to two branches that is one is passing through this coil one and other one passes through this resistance and this terminal okay let us say the current through test switch is i so the current through coil one is what i phase minus i okay here this i phase minus i and i combines and we get i phase through this load and that current i phase passes through this coil 2 and reaches here so the current through coil 2 is nothing but i phase now let us look into the current through coil 1 and coil 2 current through coil 2 is nothing but i phase and current through coil 1 is nothing but i phase minus i so current in these coils are different so mmf produced by these coils are also different so there exists a net magnetic motive force or mmf in this magnetic core so trip coil is activated and this will be open circuited and isolate the supply from this load okay this trip activation occur when this elcb is in working condition if some fault occur in this elcb or elcb is not working then what happens this trip coil is not activated and this switch remains closed circuit in that case we have to replace this elcb so by applying this test switch we can determine whether the elcb is in working condition or not okay this is the purpose of test switch